Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build an e-commerce store. Now let's say you are running a distillery and you are selling snaps and you just want to get online, you just want to show the internet world out there that you also ship your snaps bottles around the globe even or maybe just around your state if it is based in a particular state. So let me show you how you can set this up. Okay, first of all, we need to set up our products that we would like to display inside of our e-commerce store. To do so, click payments on the left, select products and then products again at the top and then click on create product. Now, right here, you can toggle on this little switch here, which means we will include this product in an online store. Then let's give it a title. Let's say we sell strawberry snaps. You can add a description here. Sweetest summer 2025, for example. Right here, you can add your media. So let's upload images and or videos. Let's select the strawberry one right here. And just for demonstration purposes, I would just want to add a second image. Let's select the strawberry one, double click. And here you can see the two images have been added. And between those two images, you can dictate which one should be the featured image, meaning which one is the image that will be displayed first when people see that product. Okay, so let's keep it at the first image, which shows the bottle. Then next up, you could enable product label, which means, for example, there is a summer sale or a Christmas sale, let's say summer sale you can insert a start date let's say 24th of april then let's say we end the promotion in 23rd of may okay so then this product label summer sale will show for one month on the website okay down here you could select or search for a collection for example, if there are more types of snaps you want to sell inside the summer collection, you could just create one here. You could say summer collection and then you could add the different images and follow the instructions here for SEO titles and descriptions. In this case, we just leave that blank. Here you can decide if you wanted to add text. You can go through the different text options. Let's say alcoholic beverage spirits, for example. Let's select that. Then here you can decide if you wanted to include the text in the price. We keep it as per global settings, which you can set under payment settings. And there you can dictate whether or not the text will be included or excluded in the price. Okay. If you wanted to do this on an individual basis, you can click yes or no here for each individual product. Let's just keep it as per global settings right now. Then you can dictate whether or not you want to attach tax rate, which is useful if you don't use automatic taxes or your customers are outside the US, for example. Under additional options, you can also then decide what kind of statement you would like to add here. This is a statement that overrides default account descriptors used for customer bank statements only. So if the money gets distracted from their bank account, they will exactly know where that money went. So for example, you can just add the name of your distillery. So now we want to dictate the price. Are you selling a subscription of the snaps? Maybe you want to send a bottle every month or so to a bar, maybe, right? Or to just the end consumer anyway, or you just want to do a one-time one. Let's do one time for now. Let's say one bottle is $50 right here compared to $70. Let's say we have like $20 off in this particular promotion, right? Right here, you can also track the inventory, which is really, really cool because these are physical items. These are not items you can sell endlessly like digital products, for example. So you would hit available quantity here. You would say 10. And then you can also dictate whether or not you want to continue selling when out of stock. Okay. So if you are the distillery and you can produce the snaps fast enough, just check that box or leave it really up to you. Then you can add a price description, reduce summer price. For example, this is not a membership offer, so we're not adding any courses to it. You could potentially though, if you wanted to teach people how to make their own schnapps at home. And then here on the variants, you could add different variants like the colors or the size or yeah, small bottles or big bottles. For example, let's say size here, let's say small, medium and large. Let's hit done. And here you can see all the variants. Nice. If you wanted to include this into the search engine listing, I would highly recommend you do that. Of course, you will add your keywords here. For example, homemade schnapps from the Eiffel, which is the region where the schnapps comes from. You would add a description delivered right to your doorstep within three days, for example. And here the handle, let's say 
strawberry schnapps. Okay, then let's hit save. And great, now we have already created our product that we will include in our Schnapps e-commerce store. Also under the description, if you have more text and you wanted to highlight certain words or numbers, you could just choose to make it bold, italic, underlined here. Make sure to hit save top right corner. So now let's set up the e-commerce store. To build an e-commerce store, we have two options. Number one, we can add it to an existing website or number two, we can create an e-commerce store just from scratch. Let's click on sites on the left. Let's click on stores at the top and let's just create an e-commerce store from scratch. Let's click new store top right. Let's name it distillery teal. Let's create and ta-da. Now the system has created five pages for you, which is one, the product list page two, the product details page, number three, the card, number four, the checkout and number five, the thank you page. Amazing. Now, before I continue inside this store section, I just want to show you real quick how you would import a store inside an existing website. For this, you just click website at the top and then find your website in question. For example, let's say you're running a restaurant and the distillery on the side and you just want to integrate both parts of your business. Click on the website. Then here you have the homepage. Let's edit the homepage. Then you want to click on the plus icon top left corner, add elements. And here you see the section store. Click on that and just click on add to site. Okay. And ta-da, you can see it's adding the store to your already existing website. Now, but let's go back to the actual store section. Let's go back into our distillery teal page or store, so to speak. And let me walk you through all of this. So to make your store live, you want to connect this to a domain. To do this, you click on settings and then click on the domain drop down menu here and select the domain that you would like to connect to this online store. Make sure to add a path as well and then scroll down and hit save. Now, if we click on this visit funnel URL, you can see this is our e-commerce store. And here we go. You can see our strawberry snaps has already been added. You can also see the summer sale label has been added. You can see it's $50 instead of 70 now, which means it's 29% off right now. Now, if we clicked onto that product, we will be able to choose from our different variants. Do we want a small bottle, a medium bottle or a large bottle? Let's click large in this case. And down here, you can see the multiple different images we have added. Now here you can decide how many bottles you would like to buy. And once you've decided all that, you can click add to cart. You can either go straight to view your cart or continue shopping. In this case, let's go straight to cart. And here we can check one last time what is it that it is in our basket and then we can check out from here. Then the customer has to add their contact details right here and then the payment method. They can either pay by credit card, cash app, Amazon Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, whatever you have set to your preferred payment method. Now let's do a test checkout so I can show you where you can find the order as well. Let's go back to the funnel, click on settings and down here you see the payment method is set to live. If I would fill this out now with my credit card details, I would actually be charged in real life, which I want to avoid right now. And I just want to test the funnel and you should always be testing your funnels like that okay so let's switch off this little toggle and set it to test mode scroll down don't forget to hit save then let's refresh the checkout page and now here you can see the product has been set to test mode now before we check out i just want to show you real quick how you would send the order confirmation to your customer to do that let's click on automation on the left let's click create new workflow from scratch so let's rename the workflow and let's set a trigger and here we would say order submitted as the trigger. We would filter it down to global product is strawberry schnapps. Select that, hit save. And then from here, you could create your automation. For example, you could add a tag. Okay. So a tag for everyone who purchased strawberry, then you'd be able to send an email from here. Thank you for your purchase. Right. You would obviously add all your details here. Hit save. And then also you can send yourself a notification. Hey, Tina, somebody bought the strawberry schnapps. Just select a notification action here. Let's say we send ourselves an email, for example. To all users or any particular user, let's say all users. Add your from name and email. 
and then just the text that you need to know or your fulfillment person needs to know in order to fulfill the order. Hit save and that would be your automation workflow. Don't forget to hit save top right corner as well. Awesome. So now let's continue actually checking out, okay? After the client has added all the details and since we're in test mode, we can add a test visa card. So if you put 422442, these numbers, then that means it's just a testing card and you'll be able to test your funnel, okay? Let's hit make payment. Ta-da! And thank you very much. Here is our order confirmation that we will also receive via email, okay? Okay, perfect. Now this has worked. Now let me show you where you can find these orders. Now to find an order, click on payments on the left, click on orders at the top and then on orders as well. And you can find the order by date or by keyword here or even filter through by status payment, status payment method or source type. Okay, so in this case, we've just added the keyword distillery teal. We can click on the three dots here and click on view order. Then you can see that the order is not fulfilled just yet. So now you have to send your snaps to the customer, right? You can click here and print a packaging slip. That has already been added to the download section. Let's open that real quick. And ta-da, here we go. The packaging slip is perfectly fine, which then just your fulfillment person just needs to stick on the package. Now, next up, once your person has sent the package off with DHL or any other transportation service, you can scroll down here and click fulfill items. You can add the tracking number, the shipping carrier DHL, for example, the tracking URL. So the customer always knows, okay, the package is now there and may arrive tomorrow. They can just track it. And of course, here we want to notify the customer so they have access to this data, which reduces your tickets so they don't call you, where's my package, where's my package. They will just receive the email with the details and everything is fully automated. Again, here you have another chance to print the packaging slips and then hit save. Now you can see the status has changed from unfulfilled to fulfilled. They will also see the date when the order has been fulfilled. They know exactly the carrier and the tracking number and then the items that are on the way to them. A quick note here, if you had already created a bunch of different products prior to establishing your e-commerce store, they will not be included in the e-commerce store unless you toggle on this little switch that I showed you earlier. Now, if for whatever reason the customer cancels the order and you haven't sent your schnapps into the world just yet, you can send a refund by clicking payments on the left transactions at the top click the three dots right here click on refund you can dictate the amount how much do you want to refund and add a little note sorry to see you go and click refund now the status has changed from success to refunded now, if you had set up a recurring product before under products when you've created it and you added subscription instead of one time, you would see the subscription showing up with a little label right here, subscription for the Apple Schnapps. You would just click on that. You would click add to cart. We want to buy one subscription. We want to view cart. Yep, that looks all good. We get 17% off. Let's check out. And then here the customer would again fill out their details and then subscribe to a subscription where we send up a schnapps every single month. Now you may be wondering if you can modify the price for each different variant because remember we have a product here with different variants. This one, the strawberry schnapps, so the medium, the small and the large, yeah. So they obviously are going to have different pricing attached to each product. You can do that in the product section under payments products. You go into the product, in this case, the strawberry schnapps, you scroll down and then you see the medium is 70. Let's say the small is 50 and let's say the large is 90 and then let's hit save. Now let's say you want to create multiple different stores in the same account, in the same location, then that is absolutely possible. Now you may be wondering if you can create an online store within both funnels and website and the answer is no. You can only pull an e-commerce store into an existing website or as a standalone e-commerce store like I showed you at the very beginning. So I hope you like this video and you will get onto it to create your very own online store. I will see you in the next video.